Reed and Casey, having pledged your faith together and shown us your love towards one another, I now pronounce you husband and wife. Reed, you gotta hold up. <laughs> You're ready. Let's get this over with, right? Reed, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> just grateful today to be able to celebrate this great night you've given us for Reed and Casey and have they come together uh, to just be bonded in marriage and we just thank you for that we ask for your blessing upon this service in Jesus name we pray wow. you know the Bible says that uh, this is a holy time but it's also a happy time when these two devoted hearts are really bound in matrimony. And what we're celebrating literally tonight is that these two are coming together, that their faith may be blessed by, by the Lord God, our Heavenly Father, the Creator of the marriage covenant, the one who really is the cornerstone of marriage. Would you please stand in honor of our bride? gives this woman to marry this man. You know a couple things about this ring. First of all, the circle of the ring really is an emblem of eternity. And, and it just shows us the, the bonding that you guys are fixing to pledge right now. How this unbrokenness bonding of love that you guys are fixing to do. And it also shows us how lasting and imperishable the faith that you two both mutually pledge. Father God, we just thank you for this union tonight and we celebrate it. And Lord, I just wanna ask you right now to put your hand upon this marriage and I ask you to bless it and I ask you to protect it. And I pray, Father, that uh, Reed and Casey will honor you in everything that they do from this day forward. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. I introduce to you Mr. and Mrs. Reed Legrand. How's everybody doing tonight? <laughs> so uh, I read somewhere the perfect best man speech should last as long as it takes for the groom to make love. So ladies and gentlemen, 
please raise a glass to the happiest couple. No, I was a little nervous uh, to make that joke. Glad to see that everybody has a good sense of humor. So we're moving right along. She truly is a great friend, and I, that's why I know she's going to be an amazing wife. Um, Reed, I'm not going to promise you that she's not going to be stubborn and bullheaded, because she will be. But I can promise you that she will be the very best friend you've ever had. And I know that you are a good friend in return because while these guys like to party, I know they were here for a reason. And so I, uh, I do remember the first time that you guys hung out. Uh, Reed told me, he was like, I'm gonna marry that girl. Come to find out the very first time I met you, you were just such a genuine person. And I knew right then that he found the person that's gonna make him so happy. For those of you who don't know me, I'm McKenna. I'm the little sister Casey never wanted. I would like to think that was a joke, but oftentimes growing up, Casey would torture me to make me think that. I said a cuss word in front of Casey. <laughs> and she was not the cool big sister I thought she was. She proceeded to parent me that day for my actions. She took me into the bathroom. She threw me down on the floor, holding me down, shoving a bar of soap in my mouth. She had locked the door so my mom couldn't get in. My mom is banging on the door asking Casey what the hell she's doing to me. And Casey is asking me if I had learned my lesson yet. <laughs> so, for your future children's sake, when they cuss, I hope Reed is the one to discipline them. <laughs>
hot mic. Here's to the burn. Here's to the booze. Here's the skipping class and hit the suits. Here's to all the specials, all the boys. Here's us, cause we're ADRs.